So what's the purpose of a break as we train? Aside from the fact that we can't keep training without taking a break, a few purpose of it is I find that it gives me a chance to get some water. <laughs> but um, realistically, just like the, the muscles, it needs this break to kind of get themselves ready for the next set. Mentally, we need that recharge. We need that um, reminder of where we're going, what we're doing, so we can return to the next set with drive, more drive and more determination, so as to get the best out of our set. Um, and sometimes that break does that for us. It makes us think, look in the mirror, um, and refocus and push ourselves to that other level. First of all, don't give up. Second, don't give up. And third, and last of all, don't give up. You will find that sometimes your training may not provide the fruits of the results that you're looking for. Um, sometimes you need to go harder, faster, or continue for a longer period of time than what's expected. Training is a big goal. Sometimes in life we have short goals, little goals. Um, we're gonna get to work five minutes early. That's a small goal. However, if we need to make management, vice president, CEO, that's gonna take years of determination to push to get to those goals. And training is the same, similar. We're changing the body, the muscle structure. We're growing, getting bigger. We need to do multiple things, not just training, but eating right, and eating enough, and eating more than enough to get the body to grow. All these is a science, and they will take some time, some setbacks, and it's more than just a little quick goal. So we have to keep going to see the results for what we're looking for. So in essence, <laughs> whatever you do, keep going, don't stop, never give up, never give up, never give up. Today we're doing a bit of morning training. Some of the benefits of morning training is that it's like breakfast. <laughs> you know, you get up and you do your training and it's over and you know for the rest of the day that you've trained. Some of the challenges of training in the morning is that you're still waking up. So you're sluggish <laughs> and, and you have to warm up quite a bit uh, before you train. But it's, um, it's a great thing to train uh, regularly uh, in the morning, midday, whenever. But I find morning training has its benefits and that's also its uh, possible drawbacks as well. Cuando tu es en el gimnasio, es muy bien para trainer uh, todo el día, todo el tiempo, but es uh, muy bien temprano. Cuando tu es en trainer temprano, entonces todo el día tu es terminado, entonces tu es feliz. This, unfortunately, body structure is what we've been handling. Um, sometimes people complain about their body structure, their body type. Um, and sometimes we need to remember in this life, this is the body structure and body type we've been handed. So make the best of it. Um, train the way you wish so that maybe you can change the structure a bit. Maybe you can grow it a bit. Many bodybuilders, if you look at them before they started training or years before, you can see a totally different body, but they are able to grow and change them. And so too with us. Um, going around complaining as to our body structure and, and we don't like it and we wish we had the structure of someone else isn't going to change it. But growing, developing a bodybuilding routine that will change us, yeah, that we have control over. We can make our structure a bit better, a bit bigger, and a bit different. So make the best of the structure for which you have been given. What is heavy? And what is too heavy? And what is too light? It depends a lot on your body, what you can do, what the body can handle. Um, anybody, or too often we are people, even I read of uh, Bruce Lee, that uh, he lived so much that he hurt his body. Um, so there are good men that lift to the limit, and when you pass that limit where the muscle can't handle it anymore, then the muscle will, it, it, it will damage or get hurt. So our limit, our, our heavy is where we can handle it. Do a good three, four, five, six, seven, eight or so and, and continue. Normally I like to do at least four or five or more when I'm working the muscle. And that to me is, 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 is a good heavy. Um, too light for me if I'm doing 20. That's like a warm up. Uh, not like a really workout set to grow the muscle. So you need to know your body 
and to see when it's too light for you or when it's too heavy. Um, now too heavy for me, if I can only do one, unless it's the end of your set, you want to push yourself a bit, then that's a different thing. But if I can only do one and can't even do another two, it's a little too heavy, that's a bit too heavy and I'm running the risk of damaging my muscle and hurting myself and taking myself right out of the gym, which is not my goal. Um, it is true that some people just want to tone. They're not trying to grow the muscle. And to them, yeah, a, a 20 repetition, nice and light, is, is great. So know your workout, what it is you're trying to do, and that way you'll be able to figure out what's heavy, what's too heavy, and what's too light. So let's get a water break in. You know, hydration is vastly important for the entire body. The brain, so you can think straight and push yourself. The body, so the muscles can work better. <laughs> you so you can get a break uh, from lifting for a bit and when you get back to it you can have more energy so definitely take that water break <laughs> it'll be good for you